are, of course, wondering why I brought you here tonight. Actually, sir, after all these years, I just sort of go with it. This is the beginning of Dumbledore initiating Harry into what he's going to have to do. People are disappearing daily. It's a different kind of magic. I cannot destroy it alone. The only way they can do this is to trust their instincts. Times like these, dark times, it can bring people together. Take my hand. It's a really good story, and it's quite a dangerous time in the wizard world. Artis, Tempers! You need us, Harry. Fight back, you coward! Harry! Every day, every hour, dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle's walls. We begin with a tremendous Death Eater attack, the anarchy that beginning to undermine the wizard world has washed over into the Muggle world. This world, and it all just amazing and wonderful and, and pure, and suddenly that's totally disintegrated. There's so much uncertainty and fear, and everything is so unsettled. And what we need is a way to find out how we beat Voldemort. The place to which we journey tonight is extremely dangerous. Take my arm. Dumbledore takes Harry on this extraordinary journey. This place is known magic. Very dark, very powerful. This time, I cannot hope to destroy it alone. All this is part of the education of Harry Potter. Dumbledore is preparing Harry for the battle that lies ahead. What you are looking at are memories, in this case pertaining to one individual, Tom Riddle, of the day I first met him. In all the years Tom's been here, he's never once had a visitor. The strange boy sitting there like that in a trance, and slightly evil. Who are you? Well, I'm like you, Tom. I'm different. Prove it. It's really chilling to see a, a child of that age knowing that he already is the man that he's about to become. I can make things move without touching them. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. I can speak to snakes too. Did you know, sir? Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. You've been reckless, Harry. I like running around on trains. It takes my mind off things. Dumbledore takes Harry on this sort of mission with him. They have to get this teacher Slughorn to come back to Hogwarts because he possesses a memory. It's the final clue as to how to kill Voldemort. There's a dark secret in his past and he's uh, reluctant to talk about it, but that's where Harry comes in. Your mother was one of my absolute favourites. Professor Slughorn collects students kind of like jewels. He's a social climber, basically. I taught the whole black family, except Sirius is a shame. I got Regulus when he came along, of course, but, but I'd have liked to set. Harry Potter is the big bait for him, a star who he can add to his mantelpiece. And so we get Slughorn back, and then Harry has to try and get Slughorn to divulge the true memory. How oh, wonderful to see you. And you, and you. Hey, Granger. <laughs> well, and me. Slughorn has his sort of favourites, and Ron definitely isn't on his favourite list. I think I'd piss myself off the astronomy time if I thought I'd continue for another two years. Harry comes up with this theory that Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. Take your hands off me, you filthy squid! Malfoy's all mouth and no trousers. He's always talking big. And suddenly, this young man has been given this mission by the Dark Lord. If Potter was the, uh, the chosen one for the good guys, then I suppose Draco's the chosen one for the bad. Harry has uh, got his suspicions and is sort of stalking Malfoy to try and actually find out what's happening. He does look a bit sneaky, doesn't he? I think we can all agree that Malfoy looks a suspicious character. <laughs> we have a bit of a brawl in the toilet. Things are going to be smashing left, right and centre. Half-Blood Prince has got some pretty scary stuff going on, but it's got some great comedy in it too. What you see before you is a curious little potion. It does cause powerful infatuation or obsession. Hello, darling. How's your drink? It's a journey of romance, and that's very, very entertaining. Hi, Ron. Hi. Lavender's very focused on her desire for Ron, and she wants him, and she is going to get him. Good luck today, Ron. I know you'll be brilliant. 
it's quite interesting to get this sort of serious relationship with this quite crazy girlfriend. Excuse me, I have to go and vomit. Hermione can't stand lavender. Hermione thinks lavender's just annoying. Really, really annoying. I was really looking forward to um, Ron kissing Lavender Brown. I took a fair bit of stick when I kissed Katie in the last film, so it's time for revenge this time around. Daniel Radcliffe was definitely there. Oh, no, his presence was known on the, the kissing scene day. Hot! Even though you've got the thing with Ron and Lavender going on, it's becoming more and more obvious that Ron and Hermione both have feelings for each other. Hermione doesn't realise what it is that she's feeling, but it's probably just insane jealousy. 